This new AI tool just destroyed anything unlovable. It is called Imagined AI and it is one of the fastest growing AI startups on the world that has already 1 million plus users and it claims to build full stack apps with just simple prompts which would make using NA10 a complete waste of time if you can build the same or even better apps by typing simple prompts in a beginner friendly interface. So as someone that spends hours every day building NA10 workflows and has made multiple videos showing you how to do the exact same I'm going to put Emergent AI to the test by trying to build two very complex full stack apps and if it actually can, I will have to seriously consider switching my app building over to Emergent AI. So make sure you stay until the end of the video where I reveal the final result and let you know whether it's worth switching over or not. But before that, let's actually start building the apps. Alright, so the first thing you have to do is to go over to app.emergent.sh and I will leave a link for it in the description below. So make sure you go and sign up to it and follow along with this video. Now as you can see, Emergent AI has this very cool interface, which I do gotta admit does look very good. It has a text box over here where the user can type in exactly what he wants to build and they also give you a bunch of customization options over here. You can select whether you want to be fast and flexible, whether you want to be stable throughout the build and if you want to turn this into a mobile app which they specifically have an agent for mobile apps which is very cool but since in this video we're trying to build apps for desktop we are going to go with e1.1 but again if you want to build a mobile app you simply make sure you come over here and select that and then they also have the ultra option which if you enable it it allows the agent to reason deeply through very complex problems so this isn't an option that you always enable you enable this only when you have an issue that you get stuck on for a long time and you want the agent to go and reason for a very long time that's where the ultra option will come in handy and what i really like about this is that they have advanced options over here where you can basically select the model you want to use when building your app which is a feature that i see no ai or builder offer they all are using a model and we don't know which one it is but over here you can select do you want to use cloud 4 do you want to use dbd5 so you can pick the one that you want for this video i will actually go with cloud 4 and i will turn off the advanced options and now let's build our first app which when I came over in this interface guys and I saw its capabilities I was honestly blown away because they claim that they can basically clone any popular app with one simple prompt and as you can see over here they have the option to clone Airbnb and a lot of times they also give you options to clone other popular apps but for this video since you're watching this on YouTube I actually want to clone the YouTube app and when I mean clone I mean clone the front end interface so make it look exactly how YouTube actually looks and also the back end so we're able to upload videos like videos subscribe to people etc etc and if it actually can do that that would be very impressive so all i will do is i will come over here type in clone youtube and then i will come over here and click on enter and as you can see i deliberately gave it a super simple prompt like basically no instructions at all i just told it hey clone this app just so i can see how powerful it is even if you don't give it a very detailed prompt so now as you can see it is processing the next step and all we have to do is to wait till it is actually done cloning youtube and as you can see over here the agent is still running it is getting the exact information of youtube structure and actually went over and took a screenshot of the youtube homepage to gather more design details which is pretty impressive and as you can see right now it is creating the main youtube clone components and we do have a preview it is not done yet obviously but as you can see this really does look like the actual youtube homepage which is very impressive guys but we still do have to wait till this done because it does have more improvements to make and boom guys imagine just finished creating youtube and if i actually open this up more so you guys can take a better look at it we can see that this is what it managed to came up with so let's say we want to click on this video we can actually see the video over here we can like the video we can subscribe to the channel can we share as well we cannot share yet but i think we can play this video oh my god guys we are actually able to play the video which is honestly ridiculous and we can also comment over here so let's say great video and then if we come over here and click on comment boom we can actually see our comment over here which is exactly what you should do in this video as well so make sure you go and comment underneath because it does help with the algorithm but this is honestly super impressive guys and we managed to do all of that with just one simple prompt so let's see if we actually come over here and we navigate to the movies category and we do have two videos over here which is again very impressive so now what i want to see is can i come over here for example in my watch later not yet uh we would obviously need to type in some more prompts but i think you can see this basically managed to one shot the majority of the youtube app with just one simple prompt it 
actually build a functioning backend as well if we open up this video that we opened before we can see that it basically saved exactly what i did before since i like the video i sub to the channel and i also came over here and wrote a comment which is honestly super impressive guys like i am personally very impressed by this since we just did it with one simple prompt so now let's say for example we also want the option to sign in to an account and be able to upload videos as well all we would have to do is to come over here and say something like i want the option to be able to sign up with an account and upload videos as well and when i publish them they need to be visible in my home page so now we'll simply come over here and send over this request and as you can see guys right now the agent is running and is creating this brand new feature so all we have to do is to simply wait a little bit till this done and as you can see right now it says that the backend is running successfully and it is currently fixing some errors that it faced and as you can see right now it is creating the front end authentication and integration components so we just have to wait till it's done with that as well and then we will be able to test out the app boom guys it just finished making the changes and if i come over here we can see exactly what it did and as you can see it did a bunch of things it created an authentication system it created some front end features over here and it also integrated the back end api along with all of these minor changes over here which is actually super impressive guys and to test it out what we can do is come over here and open this in a brand new tab so we can basically have this on full screen and if i actually come over here and i click on sign in you can see that i can actually sign in with my account but since i don't actually have an account i will need to come over here and sign up so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'll type in damien for my username then i will input my email address over here and then i will simply create a password and then i will click on create account and boom my account has been created and as you can see i'm logged in over here so now i can actually come and click on upload video and it looks like i can actually upload a video guys so let me come over here for example let's say i want to upload the intro that i did for a video of mine and i click on open and as you can see it successfully managed to upload the intro of my video over here but you can see how i can actually play the video over here which is super impressive and i can also upload the thumbnail let's say for example i want to upload this thumbnail over here and then let me put for my title the best ai app builder which right now it does seem to be emergent ai and then over here for the description i will input the exact same thing just for demonstration purposes and on the category i will put this on technology and then i'll click on upload a video and the video is actually being uploaded right now guys so if it is actually able to do that this is going to be honestly the most impressive app i have ever used because it just managed to create the super complex backend of youtube with just one simple prompt which is going to be completely ridiculous if i'm gonna be honest so let's see will it actually manage to be uploaded and boom guys if i actually navigate over to the my video section over here we can see the video that we just uploaded which is honestly super impressive and you can see how we basically managed to clone youtube with just three simple prompts by creating a front end interface that actually does look almost identical to youtube and also a functioning backend where we can upload our videos and you can obviously play around with this and make it significantly better as well i just wanted to show you how easily you can clone an already existing app with emergent ai but now what i want to show you is how we can create a brand new app from scratch so to do that i will simply come over here and open up a completely brand new tab and since this time i want to create a community accountability app which will have full user authentication so each user can log in inside this app and is going to be able to see all the tasks that the owner has set for the community members to do and if that community member has done the task he will be able to mark it as done and then he will get some points and then you will accumulate points and your points are going to be visible in a leaderboard in which every member of the community will have access to so you can basically compare and see who actually completed the tasks and got the points and who actually slacked off he didn't do what he should have and he didn't get the points which would actually massively help everyone accountable in the community and it's an app that i really would want to exist since i have a school community myself and i actually would pay someone if he was able to build it for me but we don't have to do that because we're going to use emergent ai now for the prompt that i'm going to use i basically went over to ChatGPT and explained to it exactly what i want my app to do and it gave me this prompt over here so all i will do is i will simply come over here and copy all of it and then come back over to emergent ai simply paste it in over here and as you can see this is actually a pretty long prompt where i basically tell it to create user authentications then create a section with the tasks that are going to be created by the owner and also to create the leaderboards and a bunch of other things over here and as you can see this is actually a very complex app so if imagine ai manages to build it it would honestly be very impressive so all i will do now is i will simply cover here and send over this request and now i do want to point out while wow, this is generating that right now we're in the free plan but they also do offer paid plans which have significantly more advanced features especially the pro plan 
plan over here which is tailored more to developers you can see it offers 1 million context window length so you can basically give it as much context as you want it also offers the ultra thinking feature which i showed you before you can also edit the system prompt and you will also have the ability to build custom ai agents which is a super useful feature in itself and if i'm gonna be honest it does deserve a separate video plus it also enables you to develop for mobile apps and it also gives you a lot of credits so you basically don't run out so again i will leave a link for this in the description below as well so you can go and find the one that fits your needs the best so as you can see the agent over here is asking us some questions before it proceeds and i will not even go over here and answer it i will say just do what you think is best and i will click on enter because i really want to see the power of emergent ai and what it is going to come up with solely by itself and boom guys imagine ai just finished creating the app and now it's time we actually go and test it so i will actually come over here and open this up in a brand new tab so i can see the full app over here and as you can see we have an image and over here we have a bunch of other information which does look pretty good now if i'm gonna be honest i do want the image to be slightly shorter not this high in length but we can obviously change that let's see first if it is actually functioning so let's come over here click on get started for free and boom we can actually log in with google guys honestly this is super impressive so if i come over here and click on continue with google i can actually select my email address to log in with google so i successfully managed to add in google sign in to our app with just one simple prompt so let me select my fake account over here and i will click on continue and boom we are officially inside the app so now if i come over here and i click on communities i can actually search for the community name and a description and to actually create a community so let's say i want to create a community that's going to be called ai such builders just like the community i have over in school and i create the community boom we successfully managed to create a community and now we have a task section over here we have a leaderboard section and we have a manage where we can basically add in the tasks so let's say i want to add a task about building your ai SaaS. and for the description i will say three hours of building the SaaS using emergent ai and let's say this is a very important task which it definitely is guys so let's give it 50 points and then let's leave this on daily since we want to do this daily and then if i come over here and I click on create task we can see that our task was successfully created and if i navigate over here in the task section we can actually see our task guys and let's say i actually completed it i can come over here and click on complete and boom i just got in 50 points so if i navigate over to the leaderboard you can see that i have 50 points and the great part with this is that as you can see over here we have an invite code which means that we can take this code so if i actually copy it and i click on join over here we can see that any person that want to join our app over here and be inside this leaderboard all he would have to do is come over here click on join paste in the code and click on join community and he would actually be able to join the community and also see the tasks over here and like mark them as complete if he completed them which is honestly completely ridiculous guys the fact that we are able to do this with just one simple prompt we can improve the way this visual looks a little bit and we can add in some more functionalities as we go but we basically managed to build like 90 percent of the app with just one simple prompt which is honestly completely ridiculous and I do gotta admit guys out of all the AI app builders that I have tried Imagine AI is by far the best one I can honestly say that the fact that we were able to clone YouTube with just three simple prompts and were able to build an app this complex that also includes Google authentication and also us being able to create tasks other users being able to join in and see the leaderboard is honestly completely ridiculous and I haven't seen this from any other AI app builder so if you want to try out Imagine AI make sure you click the link in the description which is going to take you over to app.emergent.sh which is the official website for emergent ai and you come create an account and try it out trust me you will not be disappointed and i want you to also let me know down in the comments whether you want me to do more emergent ai videos where i build more complex apps but now youtube thinks you're going to enjoy this video in which i build a one million dollar app so make sure you go and watch that next and i will see you over there